So we're about to go in. Kasha, I love you. If you find this in two weeks, it's all Kasha's fault. Ready? Here we go. Jesus Christ! Oh. 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 Hello from Potosi. We made it to Potosi. So we just arrived not long ago. Just um, checked into our hostel. We we did a little bit different today. We did research the hostels, but we didn't book anything. We didn't pre-book anything, and we decided we're just gonna arrive to the city and like have a little wonder. And it did save us two pounds. Saved us two pounds, <laughs> but maybe not because if we booked earlier, we would have got a cheaper hostel, yeah. which was sold out by the time we got here. Yeah. So good point actually maybe it's not the best yeah you're right so we might go back to booking online we don't know oh we'll but, see um, yeah it's, it's a nice right. town it's a nice little we've got a nice few alleyways here there's a woman standing with some weird thing yeah everything um seems to be shut everything's closed yeah we're looking for some food at the moment yeah but it is a sunday so mm -hmm. so potosi is 4050 meters above sea level so it's very high. This yeah. is one of the highest cities in the world. I think a higher one was in like a area of Juarez in Peru, but this one is up there definitely. Yeah, one of the highest. Surprising so far, we feel fine. Yeah, okay. At the I moment. don't feel like I've got you. I'm all right now. Yeah. So the mountain, down these alleys ways, you can't see it. And the mountain called. Yeah, you can called, see a little bit. See a little bit. That's yeah. the edge of it, it goes higher. Um, it's called Cerro Rico, which means rich mountain. Apparently, Potosi is known for, uh, used to be known for their silver extraction. And yeah. they extracted so much silver that they could have made a bridge from here to uh, Spain. Yeah, That's exactly. Quite cool. And uh, I don't think the silver is at, the, at the height of the silver mining here, that one mountain alone was 60%. Um, it gave 60% of the world silver. Wow, world. At its height, the world silver, 60%, just that mountain. This wow. is back in uh, 1600s or something. Mm -hmm. Silver was first discovered here in 1545. And within three decades, the population here got to 150,000 mm -hmm. so quickly. And then when the price of silver declined in the 1600s, it went down to 20,000, went all the way down to 20,000. Wow. And then they started mining other things and the population kind of grew. And it's about 150,000 again now here in this town. I think the mines are quite rich. They still got quite a lot of stuff they're getting out. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So that mountain, Cerro Rico, has got like a honeycomb of mines all underneath it, which is quite a big tourist attraction here. So we, I say we, I might go tomorrow. Kasha might stay in town. Yeah, it's like a caving experience. I really didn't enjoy it. Like, it was cool. I'm grateful I did it. But when I was there, I couldn't, like, I, my mind was just thinking, I, I want to get out fast. Yeah. So I'm thinking, do I really want to do it again? I wouldn't mind going five minutes in, have a little look. Mm. Well, we'll see, and then yeah. Get out. We'll I see if they can offer us in. anything for, like, yeah, Kasha just, just doing a little bit and me doing the whole thing. Yeah. Otherwise, you yeah, fun. you might stay in town. You so yeah, we're gonna check with the tour companies here how much it is, and then decide. The only annoying thing is that everything shut. Yeah. So we don't want to do the tour tomorrow, and you can't really. Tour guys, yeah. so we're gonna email them or something. If not, get out super early. Um, so I'll do it by myself. Maybe if it's with a group. So we'll see. So yeah, so there's thousands of. It's a working mine as well. So that's gonna be quite cool. To go in, I think. Bakery? Bakery? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So, we're for food, so we looking are looking for food. food. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, nice Is it a cheesecake? I think so, a cheesecake. After a quick stop. We got this one. We want this. Like, it looks like a cheesecake. Cheesecake, ten. So we're heading back that way. So we've just walked past That's two cake, cake shops. It's a cake shop. It's a cake street. 
There's cake shops everywhere. That's not good for us, as you can see. And she's she's already tucked in. That was supposed to be for later. Nice. Whipped cream with coconut in a some sort of pastry. Nice, yeah. Or not. So anyway, yeah, we're gonna go find somewhere to eat, and then we're going to go book a tour, and then not much more this evening. Going up the road, you got a good shot of the mountain that I was just talking about. Dominates the landscape, this does. So hopefully tomorrow I can go in a mine underneath that mountain. We're gonna try the market for dinner. Gracias. Markets usually have cheap food. There's usually a food court, food court, food hall. And you can, I can hear action down that way. No. Oh, one place. So that was a note for the market, the food. Lovely. So we'll try something else now. Okay, we gave up. There were so many chicken shops and nothing else. So we gave in and had chicken. It's like chicken breast. Chicken breast, chunks with chips. Right. How much? 17 each. 17 each. And the coke for... 11. I thought it was 9. Oh yeah, sorry. Cash is going to sit here and eat cake. Cash is going to explore the town a bit while I go on the tour. Uh, I had to sign something. It's a little like thing I had to sign about the safety. In some places you'll have to go fast and run because there are mine carts, trolleys running in the mine and they won't stop. It's going to be fun. The mines are a dangerous place not only to work but also to visit. The guides know where the explosions are taking place and where the gases are. They'll do everything possible to assure your safety as a visitor to the mines. So I have to listen carefully at all times and even taking all precautions, there's a chance that an accident can occur in the mines. There are some dangers beyond the control of your guide. For example, in the case of a cave-in in the mine, you'll be in as much danger as the workers in the mine. And in brackets, more miners die from cave-ins than any other cause of death very reassuring so I'm a little bit nervous not sure what to expect oh. <laughs> so yeah I've got a couple of minutes and I'm gonna head down so uh, I did consider going but I hated caving like scared me so I thought not going because I don't want to stand there then at least I know where he is so <laughs> I get a good payout she gets a great payout oh boy <laughs> Okay, so I'm off now. Okay. Hopefully see you soon. Come back alive. Okay, <laughs> thanks. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm all kitted up. This is the group. So there's six of us overall. How do I look? The guide's a bit crazy. It's about to be mine as well. Miners market? Oh. Add food inside the nitro nitroglycerin. Nitroglycerin. You come to touch this? Nitroglycerin. <laughs> you have to put this inside. 
the mines they use this during the strike. For example, one week ago was the anniversary of the cooperative, um, the Cerda Fiscal. In the morning, 5 a.m., they use this. But if I want to use this for extract mineral, I can't. Because I can't move with this. If I want to extract in the mine, because in the mine there is no explosion, there is implosion, I have to use this one. Ammonium nitro is made with the kerosene of aeroplane together in paper. <laughs> Trenta Bolivia. If you want to buy for your mother in law, spray. Un turista había comprado Israelita ahí, lo he hecho explotar en el salar. Because uh, now it's not like legal, legal if you want to buy dynamite, but, but it's no like half legal, half illegal, only the mines they can buy yourself. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, so I've just been to the miners market and I bought a bottle of drink for the miners and a stick of dynamite. So I paid 40 Bolivianos overall, 30 for the whole dynamite, 10 for the drink, and we get to blow it up in the mines. Dynamite. Hopefully it doesn't explode in the bag. 22, 30 years old. Can you see? Teenagers. I'm the oldest I saw in January 2 has 70 years old. The oldest mine. What's about the youngest? Yeah, the old the youngest 14 years old. 14? 14. 14. Two tons of wagon, one kilometer every day. 14 years old. God. So this is a mountain that they're mining so all these mines around. Uh, there's the sign. Oh, look at how much rubbish is here. Hey doggy. Don went, um, I left him there, there was, he had one more person. So I decided I was going to go to town, have a little wonder. It does feel a bit weird because we did spend five months together every single day, day 24 hours. So uh, it do feel a bit anxious weirdly, but I'm sure I'll be fine. I'm going to town, bye. So we're about to go in. Tasha, I love you. If you find this in two weeks, it's all Kasha's fault. Ready? Here we go. Is it easy to get lost in here? Uh, well, it's easy lost in the mine, but if you work alone, <laughs> okay. but now you have guys. 5,000 entrance. 5,000? 5,000 mines. 5,000 mines. Mine 180. <laughs> 4,300 meters right <laughs> now the altitude this mine was built in the 17th yes. century. 1901. So this is the entrance and thousands and thousands of tunnel easy to get lost if you don't have a guide into the abyss. It's quite spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Hands in the middle guys. Yeah, yeah. See. Do you want to be on you, Senorita? We are in the group. Come here. Um, <laughs> you want to be uh, sexy llama, sexy dynamites? I don't know. You tell me one name for this group. Sexy dynamite. Sexy dynamite. <laughs> sexy dynamite. I say one to two. We say everybody is sexy dynamite. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like men. Like men. <laughs> <laughs> That's you, Henry. One to three. Sexy, sexy dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> In we go. Guys, if I say wagon, yeah. you have to wait with me on, on the left, on the right, okay? <laughs> Watch your head. Okay, so I think we're in the mines for two hours. I'm not allowed to touch these cables. The guide is fast. Quick, 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 quick! Where is she? Quick, quick, wagon is coming! Here it comes. That's not so fast, that's a steal. How I can know when the mine is working because they move this light like this. Okay. 
Yeah. When the light shine, what is can? I want to go to the cathedral, but I'm not sure how to get in. Oh, let me try to find it. So I'm outside of the cathedral. Quite nice views. Sat down on the bench and go and just have a little wonder. <laughs> and right, and this is not for any miner. It's for experience with good experience the name is mata palos i don't know it in english but it's mata palos because can eat cats properly woods exactly and for this work they don't have salary because they work for themselves this is never in mind it's very very important muy duro 50 yeah. years 50 years mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God. You can say hola Olmedo. Hola Olmedo. Hola, Olmedo. A ver, piensa, a nuestra niche de cuánto pesa este vagón. No tengo nada. One ton. How oh. empty this vagón is how? One and a half ton together. There's mineral, silver. Mm -hmm. Get off the truck, eh? Mouse is probably coming, eh? Get off the truck, come here, eh? Ah, it's like it's on, eh? Dynamite, it's down. Oh, my God, you are. Wow. Oh. You're here, guys. Yeah, yeah. Feel it. yeah. Oh, moving along, outside little statue. It's quite cool. Really pretty. Let's keep walking. Another one from the back. He said we don't have food during the walk inside. Wow. <laughs> My comida. <laughs> no. What is what is the chicken? He said what is <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, yes. Yeah. Crap. They are walking five people up. Five. Five. They have to go by the same hole up. Por el por el mismo lugar que Because be careful. You can't make like this similar uh, um, tradition with mine because it's devil. And for the miners it's not devil. For the miners it's uncle of miners. For the miners he's man. And this mountain is warm man. Men and women together we produce the mineral for the miners. You can see like this in every mine. Yeah. It's a, for the mine is very important, but this super is not the true, okay? <laughs> you okay in the mines? I'm okay. It's not too bad. Not too bad. It's quite cool square. I might have a little look. See there are shops. Oh, there is a shop there. Oh, a beauty salon. Should I? We'll see. So I had a little look at some clothes, found a nice bag, but maybe we'll have a look 
It's very important space between two groups, groups up, down, minimum 100 meters, 70 meters. Okay, up, 70 meters, one level up, one level down, 70 meters right, left, and down. Okay. But how many meters from this area to there? Not many. Yeah, because they don't respect the areas in the mines. Mm. They can't fight in the mines for one area. One group is going down, this group is going up. When this group arrived first, this group went this area. Sometimes they fight. Because now I'm working 36 cooperatives in this mountain. 36 cooperatives, 180 mines and 16,000 workers. Okay? Now, my friend, you have to know if you want to work in the mines, more experience, you don't need to be Boliviano, you can work. You have to contact, you have to work in the mines for 60, 70, 80, 100, 150 Bolivians or 200 Bolivians today, depend on work. Number one. Number two, when you work in the mine, you have to buy for yourself, helmet, jacket, trousers, everything. And now if you have to work in the mines 15, 20 years, you will, you, you have to know you will be sick. If you want to know who is sick in the mines, you have to see only the face. Because when the eyes turn color red, when they lost the teeth, when they cough, <coughs> when they spit out the blood, yeah. mine is sick, has silly causes. I think so, the danger in the mines is the amianto, asbestos. Right. Because they mine, they don't know because they don't study in the university. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, me. I want to see Oscar. Where is Oscar? And he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> so, that dynamite in the guy to his left. Wait, is it yeah, I've got a lighter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, coming. Okay. Sixty seconds. 60 seconds. See, okay? You wait with me. You wait with me everything here. Oh my god, you're not. And you guys. Nati loves you. Oh fuck. What the hell smell? You lit it. Did you light it? No, no. Is it okay? It's okay. When do they use the dynamite? Yes. To clear? How often? Yes. Yeah. How often? What do they use it for? How we use? Yeah, the miners. Why do they use the dynamite? Ah, they have to stir the mineral. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh, <laughs> 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 oh, <God. laughs> Are you okay? I wasn't expecting it quite like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I jumped out my chair. Are you okay? Know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus, it's only one. <laughs> and, and now this, they, they, mine, they like presents. They use dynamite because they are working also only for, for dynamite because really this, this dynamite is like present for the miners, okay? Yes. Yeah, yes. okay. Follow me, guys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, eh? Thanks. No, thank hey, you. Nice, eh? Hey, wow. Good what did you put it behind? Did you... No, we literally laid on the ground. Carlos. Carlos. Uh, 33 dynamite. Now uh, they have to use this professional mark when I work in the mine. Yeah. Okay, how many years in the mine? 18 years working in the mine. What's my job? 25 years working in the mine. Oh. What are you doing? 40. 40. 40 years old. Yeah. 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 Single, eh? Is it single? Stay in Potosí, stay in the mine. Where is the beer? He said, where is the alcohol? I got some. I got some. Ah, yeah, yeah, empty alcohol. Alcohol. 
Yes. Good. See you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, we're going down. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going down. Fuck. We're going down, boy. Watch your camera, watch your money, everything now because we have to crawl this way, okay? Crawl, okay? Yeah. Where do I see the Ah, uh, my friend, this is important. Okay. Don't move these rocks. Don't move the rocks. For, move when, the when you move this rock, it's bad for me. Okay. Because you can move with, with your feet. Can you say this? Okay. It'll slide down. It'll okay. fall down into you. is sitting in town worrying about me yeah yeah I'm sure Cash is right now panicking about how I am Five minutes ago, the miner they used 36 dynamites here. Do you remember? They, yeah. Yeah. They said because we feel this. You get the same Yeah. And I'm going head there. Julio? Julio? Yeah. Is everything okay? She doesn't want to huh? continue, She doesn't want to continue. How far? No, it's now at uh, 16 seconds more. It's, it's About 16 seconds more from here. 16 seconds from where we are. It's uh, maybe uh, 20 meters more now. It's 20 finished. meters? 20 meters more. Then it's fine, it's white. Yeah, then it's really white. Yeah. What's this green? Mm -hmm. The copper sulfate. Copper sulfate. Yeah. Ah. She's coming. Is she okay? She's, she's coming. She's coming. Do you get many tourists that go back? No. 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 Yeah. No, you can go. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Now be careful, guys. In the corner, mm -hmm. there is big hole on the right. Ten meters. It's not big. Okay. So 
it's been a few hours since Dan went and he's hailing thunderstorm really loud. I'm a little bit worried about thunderstorm and him being in a mind as a um, I don't know if you can hear it so loud. I googled that apparently it can be quite dangerous because the explosives can explode. It's just crazy. Getting a lot of dust in my eyes. In a few steps. <laughs> yeah, and you can do this step. Next step. Yeah. Oh, okay. You here? I am here, guys. My eyes are so dusty. It's so dusty here. I really hope they go out now. They don't. Yeah. The mine is they can steal mineral. <coughs> they can rob the mineral. Okay? How is it? Steal? Steal. 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 Mm -hmm. They can steal in the pockets. They can steal in the boots. But if you want to steal, you can steal only you because you can see another place. But this in the mines is forbidden, prohibido, robot. Because on other mines, if they will see. If you steal, you can work again in this mine, no place to have a Okay? Because the mines, they have to close after the working mine. This area, the area of the Tabajo. So this decoration they just do in the carnival party. Heavy? Heavy. Heavy. Metal. Huh? Metal. 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 Yeah. 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 Blata. Estaños. Uh, this tin. 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 I don't know if you can hear this, but this is nothing, like, before it was so loud. It sounds so bad. What time is it? 65 years old! Wow! 51 years old walking a mine. He's just working in Candelaria. This area is, is up, it's not flat, because they have to use these electric wheels. Okay. And in, in this area. Okay. Yes, for, for wagons. Yes. I don't recommend to stay so many hours here, because 100 meters inside, there is gas. Here is gas. This way is not the exit. This way is the exit. Uh, cool. This is ventilation? Yeah. Gas. Oh, it's blue. It's yeah, but now this chain, coral. Wow. Green yeah. is detected. Uh -huh. Wow. Okay? Oh, wow. Collapse. Precaution. You can stay so many hours here. Yeah? 
Maybe we should move. <laughs> yeah. Get on the track. That's right. In the mines, the they follow the full gold because this like guide. Full gold, silver. See, to let tin every tin. I feel dust in my lungs, I feel dust in my eyes. God. God knows how they work down here for so long. It's been 15 minutes since the thunderstorm started. It's sort of moving away, which is still a bit worrying. I can hear it far away because it might be moving towards the mines. I um, had a message down, but I haven't heard anything from him. I think the tour is till 5.30, so they've got an hour, so surely if they took them an hour to walk in the mine, it would take them an hour to walk back. <sighs> so stressful. Okay, we're on our way out now. A few minutes away. And we are... We're coming out. We made it. We made it out. Oh my god. We made it. I've got this little gift from one of the miners, Tim. It's quite cool. Okay, so I'm back in the hostel. Just going upstairs now. Um, had a great time. Uh, really recommend doing it. It really is an eye opener. Here's the room. I wonder if Cache is waiting for me. It's unlocked. Hello. Whatever. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> did you hear the thunderstorm? Oh my god, I, did like, not. I was really freaking out. I'm not joking. No. I think hour after you messaged me that you're going in the cave, the yeah. thunder was like, not like boom, it was like boom. Really? And I, so what I do, obviously stupidly, I Google, is it safe to be, safe to be in uh, mines while there is a thunder on? And oh my god, he said no, so I was really freaking out. Oh, so glad you came back. I'm but back. I thought if you don't come back till seven, I will go check, um, go to the agency and start looking for you. <laughs> but yeah, Extreme. how weird that it was a thunder. I didn't know. I obviously didn't hear anything in the mines. No mm. thunder, no nothing. Oh. Just the dynamite, really, which we heard. What? Yeah. God. Well, the little, like, little, I don't know, vibrations you can feel go through you your body. It. Yeah, like from other people, the miners doing dynamite below or above, I don't know. Wow. But then I obviously, you saw I bought dynamite. I bought some dynamite That's and awesome. yeah. And the other group of guys bought dynamite and I said I wanted to explode it. He said, do you want to explode it? I said, yeah. Yeah. But, um, That's all I wanted to do. But they ended up only exploding the other guy's dynamite and they gave mine away to the miners, which is fine. Mm. So yeah, they took the dynamite through the tunnel and once they lit it, they had 60 seconds to get back. They came back and, oh, just the explosion just goes right through you. And like, oh, it's hard to explain. I felt like your heart came out of my chest. Really? And the dust was just flying around everywhere. Oh. It was fun. That was fun, the dynamite. Yeah. Could I do it? Do you think I would have been able to do it? I think you could have done it. Yeah? There were some, so. some very narrow points. But it's not as scary as you would think. Similar to what the cave was, but I think the cave we did in Toro Toro was more scary. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's the, it's why I didn't do it because cave in Toro Toro really petrified me so much. That's why I thought like, I just can't do it. Yeah, yeah. But I'm regretting it now. Yes, yeah, really it's, it's really interesting. Um, seeing the miners was cool. They all seemed happy enough. But obviously, the conditions aren't great being in a mine, mm -hmm. as they rarely are in mines. So I was in there for an hour and a half, two hours. 
and I was already coughing and my eyes were stinging at some point because of oh, all the really? dust. So yeah. them being in there all day, God knows how they, yeah. they do it. I heard that they die quite early. Yeah, well, we met a 68 year old guy who'd mm. been working there, God knows how many years, 30, mm. 40 years. Um, and he's fine, he's got nothing wrong with him apparently. It was quite cheap as well, it was 120 Bolivianos? 120, I think most people usually pay 130. Mm. I think maybe they emailed me the wrong price by mistake, but so we, we had, had that price, so we, we got... Had in the office. So I think the others paid 130 Bolivianos. Mm. Yeah, fascinating experience if you're on Potosi. It's the main thing to do and you should do it. Mm. So there's three levels, you could do the easy option, which is going into a very touristy mine, which is massive, walls, doesn't get narrow. Mm which is 100 Bolivianos. <coughs> Dust. That was my option in the Candelaria mine, which can get a bit narrow at times, quite cool. Um, 130 Bolivianos, normally we paid 120. And then there's the extreme adventure one, which was 150 Bolivianos, I think. Mm -hmm. I the middle one, I think, is the best one to go for. Mm -hmm. I think that's all we're doing, Potosi, is it? Yes, and like you know, I... Oh, did you have a good time? Yeah, it was strange, definitely a little bit worried, like, you know, with the thunderstorm. Oh, really? I got lost, got typical lost. me. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking around the shop, coming this one, this one, this one, and then I thought, oh, which way do I go? <laughs> the oh, town is pretty easy, so I used the Google Maps, got <laughs> back to the centre. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, I had a pretty no. nice day but it was i didn't like walking around on my own without um without purpose i didn't like this uh when i knew i'm going for a coffee or like tea in my case i quite i didn't mind that that was nice but when i was walking around the shop not really planning to buy anything yeah it was just a bit boring okay yeah well we're back together now yeah no. And that's the end of our Potosi Shame. vlog. No, you should answer tales. <laughs> so, uh, tomorrow I think morning... I'm not going to get any money if something touch wood happens to you. Yeah, because it's on video. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so tomorrow morning we are getting a bus to uni. Oh my god, I'm nervous about that. Are you? Yeah, I'm so excited. So, we're going to do the uni Salt Flats tour, which is usually about three days. So we're going to go there, try and find a tour company. So that will be our next vlog, which is going to be awesome. Mm. So yeah, we like Potosi and do the mines mm. and... The town is pretty. town's pretty enough. But yeah, yeah do the mines. Yeah, Definitely. okay. So we'll see you next time. See you then. Bye. Bye.